animator. The stop motion animator is not, those were not the words they used to describe it at school. The words they used to describe it at school, they had a word for it, it was faggot. And during recess, the other boys would go out to play ball, and I'd bring out this giant sketchbook, and I would draw scenes from Star Wars and Star Trek. Because I'm bisexual. And I love making art. I'm an artist, and I love making art, but artist was not the word they used. The word they used for that was also fuck out. <laughs> and maybe I want to fuck Johnny Depp. I guess I'm just a big fan. I would let him fuck me. <laughs> Every self-respecting straight man in here tonight knows that if by the fucking love of Cthulhu, some miracle, you end up with Johnny Dick's dick in your Johnny Dick. Johnny and Slip. Johnny Depp is a fucking word. If you end up with Johnny Depp's dick in your mouth tonight, when you wake up tomorrow, you don't change your Facebook status to bisexual. You change it to, oh my god, it's a Johnny Depp's dick! I, I make light of it now. It's funny to me now because, I mean, what is comedy if not tragedy plus, plus time? But at, at 16, it was not funny. At 16, it was really not funny. And on a daily basis, I heard these words. You should kill yourself. No. no. You should kill yourself. No. Nobody likes you. Do this school a favor and kill yourself. Hell no. Do this town a favor and kill your, your parents don't even fucking like you. Do your parents a favor and kill yourself. And it started to sink in. No. And then, when I was 16, my girlfriend did kill herself. <gasps> and it was, as you could imagine, probably the hardest thing I had to deal with in my life until that moment. But there was a moment of, of, of clarity, I thought. And I thought, they're right. They're totally fucking right. We don't belong here. She was so sweet. She was so caring. She was so loving. She was so intelligent. She was so creative. She was the kind of person who would help a stranger in any situation. She was unlike everybody in that town. I thought, they're totally fucking right. We're freaks. We do not fucking belong here. I was a child, I didn't realize that not everyone in the world was like the people in that town. I just assumed the entire world was that way. And so I thought, no, they're right. I should do everybody a favor and kill myself. And so I picked a date, and I said, on that day I will end my life. And on that day I woke up with a plan to end my life at the end of the day, and I said, today's going to be a little different. I'm going to do, and I'm going to say, whatever I want to do and say today. That's going to be my gift to myself, because it's my last day alive. And I got up and I went to school. I was almost immediately surrounded by the football players who used to like to push me around, beat me up, call me a faggot, etc. And as they approached me, I just looked at the biggest one of them and told them exactly what I thought of him. And then I braced for impact. Raise shields. <laughs> but nothing happened. This is a true story. When I opened my eyes, they were walking away completely fucking confused. And then I went to a classroom where I had a teacher who used to like to humiliate me for the amusement of the other students. When I walked in, she looked at me, she said, oh, look at there he all. Oh, look what he's wearing today. Isn't this amazing? I just turned to him and I said, you are the worst teacher ever. This is not what teaching is. Teaching is educating people, inspiring people, lifting people up, not tearing people down. You're a fucking embarrassment to teaching. Hashtag true. She sat the fuck down. She didn't so much as look at me for the rest of the class. Good. And then the class was over, and I left my school. And I remember so clearly thinking, that was my last day of school, ever. And I went home to end my life. And 
And I walked through the front door of my home and my parents saw me and they were like, oh, that's what you wear to school. You embarrass us. You look like a freak. People are laughing at you. People are laughing at us. We're humiliated by you. And I looked up at my parents for the first time ever. I said, this is your problem? How I look? I'm not a drug addict. I've never broken the law. I'm a straight-A student. This is your problem? That I look funny? Fuck you! Yeah. Get your fucking priorities straight. And then I lived in a Cuban household. We don't, we don't have, we don't say child abuse. We say Friday, like this. Like you get a whipping for nothing in a Cuban household. I just knew I was gonna get whipped, but they just turned around and walked away, completely fucking confused. And then I descended the stairs to the red lit, incense filled basement bedroom that every teenage goth really ought to have. <laughs> And I prepared to end my life. And I put my tools before me. And I wondered, because I don't know anything about the afterlife, as nobody actually really does. And I wondered if I would see my girlfriend. And I got ready to kill myself, and I thought to myself, right at that moment, I thought, what a great fucking day. <laughs> what a great fucking day. Yeah. Not, not gonna check it out. I'm still gonna do it. But just one more day like this. Just one more day like today. That was 33 years ago. My, my suicide plans were never canceled. My suicide plans were never canceled. They were just put on hold. And they continue to be on hold every day that I wake up and I go out into the world and I say what I mean and I stand up for myself, and I refuse to be bullied because I've already accepted death, so nothing anything can do to me is worse than that. And most importantly, when I stand up for myself and realize that every single human being deserves respect, until maybe you do something where you don't deserve it anymore, but everyone should be treated with respect. And let me tell you right now, if you're not being treated by, with respect by your parents, lose them. If you're not being treated by respect with your friends, they were never really your friends. <laughs> Say what you mean and be true to yourself, and you're going to find out that the people who leave your side were never really there for you in the first place, and you'll probably find a whole new family of people who accept you the way you are, and yes. that is what you deserve.